Uh, you, you know, I, I I didn't see you when I woke up. I, I didn't know when when you left. And why was your CD on by this time of the night? <sighs> mood, my dear, mood. You see, um, when I woke up, I I I didn't see you, and um, I I became so bored, so I had to employ the music. Okay, sweetheart, I just came to excuse myself. Abella is feeling so feverish, and I need to keep her company for tonight. I hope you don't mind. Oh, what a pity. Uh, no, I don't mind. Uh, just make sure you take care of her, okay? Okay. okay? Right. Let her be well by morning, eh? All right. <laughs> uh, and since you're going, let me just uh, you know, employ the music to keep me company. All right. Good night. Good night, eh? Now, 
pack your things and get ready because you are leaving for the village right now. I don't want anybody that will spoil my marriage for you. Not even you. Did you hear me? my reason for coming back home and nothing will ever make me go back to her again or nothing. So, this is all the funny dreams I've been having since then. Eh? Hey! Obiagili has brought me out. No. I'm going to bring her back. Bring her back. Bring her back to where? To this house. I think something is wrong with your head. Papa Abiyagili, why now? Do you want her to die there? Can't you see the man is a ritualist? Are you just realizing it? Eh? Oh, you are just realizing it? Let me tell you. She's not coming back to this house. She is not coming back to this house. When I was asking such questions about that man, you were the very person who accused me of being in prison. Baby. But he is past. He is past. Did you ever have any plans about the future? Did you? She is not coming back to this house. Yes. If you want to live with her, go and rent a house outside. This is final. Like mother, like daughter. I want you. Our worlds are now separate. 
You don't belong here anymore and I don't have anything to do with you either. Leave my life alone. Give me space. Leave me alone. Go away. Dad! What is wrong with you? Who were you talking with? yesterday night. He was just behaving. I don't know. No. You have seen it now. Hmm? You have seen it. Two persons can never be wrong. Hmm? Your kid sister noticed it. But you shone her. You did. Now you can see it yourself, isn't it? Say what for yourself? Say what? Look, woman, I thought you were responsible. Instead of you to protect your son in law when he is in crisis. No. You turn around and contradict the whole situation. What have I said, my son? What have I said? Eh? As far as I'm concerned, I haven't said anything that is wrong. Ah. Yes. Now, you listen. If you know you'll flip your mouth over everything that happens in and around my house, then your mother will not pass the night here. Why do you take her back to your father's house and to hell with your discussions? Nonsense. Bobby, you have to bear it. You have to really bear it. Your father said you must not come back to the house. For not to have listened to his advice before this marriage. That was what he said. You only have to look up to God. He's the only person that has an answer to this problem. Well, it's all right. Uh here with uh, the other brothers, Okute and Da, uh, and we are relaxing, just come right in. Uh, so, but, um, what's that, Zed? Mm. Mm. He's on his way. I, um, just place an order for a 40 feet container of wines. Mm. As most I, I I intend giving you a surprise. I've been waiting for it. <coughs> hey, <laughs> Zed, my man, the latest big boy in town. What's up? <laughs> hey, come on, what's the problem here? <laughs> How can a billion brother be looking this serious? What's the matter? Come on, <clears throat> brothers. I am in trouble, serious trouble. My life is in a shambles. Hey, come on, Fred. Let's share it. I mean, we are made together forever. So go on. What's the problem? Brothers, my wife is after my life. Is that all? 
That's all. That's all. <laughs> What's funny about that, brothers? What's funny about that? Hey, we thought you had a problem. <laughs>
I'm not just gonna kiss you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I thought. What's all these mysteries all about? Every day is one strange behavior or the other. What's the sacrifices you were talking about? I am sorry. I really am. God, these nightmares are getting out of hand. I must do something before they get worse. I'm lost. Did I hurt you? I'm not sorry. Please forgive me. It's okay. time the result is out, I'm sure we'll be able to diagnose the cause of the ailment. Okay. Okay, doctor. Doctor, please, I hope you'll be okay. Well, we will do our best and God will do the rest. doesn't accept such favors. But if you insist, please, I'm begging you, be very careful. Look, I, I'm very sorry too. You know I need the connections. I need to get connected. I am not going there to mess up. But I want us to move up in life, okay? I promise. 
promise you, I will be careful, okay? I love you too. Me too. Sugar. Okay. All See right. Ya. Take care. Isn't your nature? How can you meet someone for the first time and develop such hatred for him? Look, I know Tom. We attended the same university. He's a businessman. He knows who he's doing the society. He's well connected. He knows who can give me goods, my drugs, and credit. He can connect me to an open-ended supply. So even if you don't like him, he can still help us. All these four or nine boys in town looking for whom to implicate. Eh? Look, Zed, I am very comfortable the way God has put us. You see, little things like this can put into temptation and trouble. Please, let us be the way we are. Oh, am I complaining? Where is my daughter? She's in the Sorry, Mr. 
It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. You'll be asleep before you know it. Alright. That's the case so different. Um, you see, luck is not a permanent thing, you know. It changes. In his own case, his luck has just changed. That's all. I couldn't even sit down. The whole place stinks. Terrible. It's unfortunate. So nothing can be done for him? I'm afraid no, nothing. Um, his is a peculiar case. Um, I think he's a scapegoat. There is nothing anybody can do for him. Nothing. In that case, our advice we arrange a pay me a visit. At least to stay sure we care. I, I like the idea. Me to Okute. Talk 
it over with him and then uh, let other members of the Bidian Brotherhood know about it so you can choose an early date and go and visit him. around his world are empty. And you know why? What do you want me to do, Doctor? Well, he has already asked for mercy killing. Mercy what? Mercy killing. There will be no such thing. It is an abomination in my land. Then I'm afraid you just have to take him home and look for alternative treatment. Doctor, what alternative treatment? Please, you have to help my boy. There's nothing else we could we can do. We have really tried. We have tried. Is there no other area that you can I use to help him? I'm really, really sorry. I'm really sorry. You just have to go for alternative treatment. His problem is beyond us.
God bless you. Bless you too. We take him to the house. Mama. See that not everything that glitters is gold. This is what happens to one who does not listen to her parents. My daughter, where do you think he should be right now? Mama, I don't know. I don't know. We need to go and see him. As at the time I left, his people were taking him home from the hospital. Sister, I told you this earlier, but you wouldn't listen. You wouldn't listen. Shut up. How could I have done? Papa Obi. Please, please consider her now. Please. please. I told you I wouldn't listen to that. Don't you understand simple English? Mama, what will I do? What will I do now? Stop crying, my daughter. Stop. <laughs> Let's 
thoughts on you. <laughs> At least he will die instead of suffering like this. has gotten my miserable than mine before I died. I have forgiven him. Please release him so he could die. I have considered your plea. Go. Go and release him so he may die now. Thank you very much, innocence. Lifestyle. 
I never knew they were ritualists until I killed you and our baby. I've learned my lesson. Though it's late. Please forgive me. I'm in misery. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. assembled all of you here today to notify you once again of the inevitable destiny of man, death, and apprise you of the need to be prepared at all times. One of us, Zed, has embraced the finality of death. Zed has returned to his state of origin, dust. I saw it in spirit yesterday as I did my meditation. Shall we all rise and observe a minute silence in honor of our fallen colleague? May Mother Earth, in her magnanimity, grant his remains eternal rest in her bosom. After our eyes is granted, may it be so. Speaking to you now, his interment has just been completed. What? How then do we pay our last respects to him? How may he return to us that which he owes? Well, there is no confusion in Billion's mansion, none whatsoever. Oh. You, you, you. And uh, you. I want four of you to pay a condolence visit to the Billing family. You will take along with you five million naira, which is normally a compensation gift to the Billing families. You will notify them that in the next couple of days, we'll be coming to pay 
Our own respect to our fallen colleague. Um, oh yes, one more thing. Let them know that we must require some privacy. It is very essential. Privacy. Why are you here? I asked you to take the first available flight to the east. Yes, most high. So what are you doing here? We quickly arrived with the next available flight. Since we were not welcomed, not even our gift accepted. What? Most high. From the harsh way they treated us, I don't think our official visit will be accepted. As a matter of fact, sir, they even threatened to disgrace the Brotherhood if we attempt a comeback. Wait a minute. You were not welcome. Mm. And they threatened to disgrace the Brotherhood? <laughs> I knew it. As I saw it coming, I, I knew it would come to that. I knew it would come to that. Okute, I want you over here immediately. Yes, at once. Don, come over here. Look, I don't care what you're doing. This is an order. I want you here now. Thank you. Brothers, come. six months our bank haven't paid us and I find it very difficult to feed myself uncle please I don't know if you can give me some money to manage myself about how much are you talking about this time um, I think 10,000 naira at least that will last me for two three weeks you mean 10,000 naira will be okay for you yes sir This is 100,000 naira. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, my dear. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. You see, uh, Chide. Sir. There is this proverb that says, instead of giving me fish, teach me how to fish. Okay? Yes, sir. Um, rather than coming here to ask for this peanuts of 10,000, 20,000, 50, and what have you. I think I would rather make you a rich man. I'll show you the way to us becoming a rich man. Uh, I have this chance of at least bringing four persons to that position of which you are one. Thank you very much. It's okay, it's okay. Thank you, sir. It's okay. But then, do you have friends you can vouch for? Yes, sir. 
Yes, I do. I mean close friends of yours. Yes, sir. Um, Tolu is there. Edwin. Ah, it's okay. Tolu. It's okay. I will advise when next you are coming. You come along with them. Okay? Okay, sir. Let me see how I can bring all of you to a position where none of you will lack for the rest of your lives. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Uncle, thank you very much, yes, sir. I don't know what I would have done without you. Well, what are we here for? Outside helping one another. Thank you, sir. I don't mind. Thank you, sir. I'm grateful, sir. Thank you, my dear. Thank you. Thank you. Uncle. He even gave me the opportunity of getting three or four of my friends so that he can equally make them rich. So who am I? You are the friends I have. And I decided to call you. <laughs> you see, it is up to you guys to decide whether you join my train. As for me, I'm already there. You know, I'm a rich man. You know, I've already made up my mind to join the train. Me, you should know what working a bank means now. Eh? Tomorrow they might end up not paying your gratuity and your pension, and you die of hunger and starvation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. You should understand. They will tell you they will fold the bank. Eddie, 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 Eddie. Hard man. Do I tell you? The, you know me now. Eddie, Eddie. Let me ask you something, Chidi. What? Is what is it? Are you sure this year uncle can actually make us rich? Uh, I beg you. Uh, I beg you. Just, 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 just you acting as if you don't like money. Ha! <laughs> 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 nobody say, nobody say I don't like money. In fact, I like money more than you. We know now. No, no, but you see, nothing good comes easy. So we got to be sure. Let me tell you something. With these That's bottles here, yeah, I am sure and I'm convinced. Uh, Waiter. Yes. We got okay, to come, be sure, come, come. man. Yeah, don't follow. Come. I don't even number two. See, the new life we think. I don't say like. How much is our bill? Your bill is 1,800. 1,800. Okay. 1,800, right? How much money? Here. This is 3,000 naira. Get us more drinks. Yay! 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 Yay!